Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to upload files, including binary files, to the SAP application server. I have already prepared a program here with a dry and catch block. And now I will write the file open dialog. For this, we need three variables, LV return code, and internal table IT files and LV action. Then I call the class CL GUI frontend services and I call the method file open dialog. Then I um, pass the changing parameters file table RC and user action. And I pass here my variables. And next I check if there is an user action and if this action is okay. So I write LV action is CLGUI frontend services action okay. Next I check if a file was selected. So if the internal table IT files is greater than zero. Then I close the two ifs at the end of my code. And next I write the GUI upload. For this I need two more variables, LV file size and IT bin data. And then I write the class CL GUI frontend services and I call here the method GUI upload. Then the exporting parameter file name and this file name is the first entry of the internal table IT files. Then the file type it's bin for binary. Then the importing parameter is the file length the type here the my variable lv file length uh, file size and the changing parameter data type and here i pass the internal table it bin data so next we have to convert the binary file to an x string so i need one more variable lv x string of type x string and now I call the function, the function module S CMS binary to X string. And I delete the not necessary parameters here. We need only the input length, the buffer and the binary tab. And I write the variables to this function module. So this was the conversion. Next, uh, I want to upload the file to the application server. And so I need a, a variable again, LV Apple path file of type string. And then I set this variable with IT files, the first entry file name. First, we open the directory of the application server with the transaction AL11. And in this directory, I want to upload my files. So I set this here, LV app path file is TMP and I pick a file name here myfile.xlsx. Then open dataset, the variable name LV app path file for output in binary mode, transfer LVX string to LV Apple path file. Close dataset LV 
Apple path file. Next, if I check if the sysubert is zero, then a write upload completed. If not, I write an error. Then and if, then pretty print and activate. Okay, there is a typo. I forgot the L in the variable here in the variable name. It's called LV Apple path file and not LV app path file. Okay, activate again. Then let's run the code. Now I pick a file. I pick the Excel file, click on open, then the upload message and here we have the message upload completed. So let's go back to the directory, TMP double click. And if we scroll down here, we see the file name, my file XLSX. So the file is uploaded to this directory. Um, as a next step, I want to transfer the file name that is stored locally on the computer to the application server. And I will show you now how this works. For this, I need two more variables, LV path file of type string and LV file name of type string. And then I set the variable LV path file is IT files. The first entry of the internal table IT files. This is the, the local path and file name from the computer. Next, I call the function SO split file and path. And here I delete all unused uh, parameters. We need only the full name and the script name. So the full name is the path and the file and the script name is the file name only. And then I add this file name, the variable to the variable LV Apple path file. So in this variable, the file name is stored. So let's activate and run the program again. I pick the Excel file again. Then now we remember the name of the file itab export to. Then we go back here and we open the, the directory, the directory TMP. Now we click on refresh and we scroll down and we see here the file name itab export to xlsx. So that works. Um, Next step, I show you this in the debugger. So I set a breakpoint here and I run the program again. I pick the PNG file now, my logo. Click on OK. Then let's double click on the variable here. Press F5, one step. Then we see here the local path and file name. Next, I set another breakpoint to this variable. Click on uh, F7 and then double click on this variable and double click on the LV file name. Then I press F5 and we see the, uh, uh, the path of the application server and the name of the file. So if we go on, the upload is completed. So let's check this. On the application server, we refresh this view again. We scroll down and here we see the custom code logo.png. So the files are uploaded. Yes, this is how to upload binary files to the application server. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.